into the last and over well from little flower angels working over time and then how you see D and E and into the straight to the final furlong. It's Mel Monroe kicking well clear of little flower angels working over time and how you see D and E that trio in a scrap for the minor money. But it's Mel Monroe well clear up the hill. Under Danny Gilligan for Gordon Elliott as Mel Monroe back from time off lands the odds in clear cut style from higher C, D and E angels working overtime. It's Mel Monroe kicking well clear of little flower angels working overtime and higher C, D and E that trio in a scrap for the minor money. But it's Mel Monroe well clear up the hill under Danny Gilligan for Gordon Elliott as Mel Monroe back from time off lands the odds in clear cut style from higher C, D and E angels working overtime. For Thomas Riley from Ask the Leader and Michael O'Sullivan throwing down a challenge. On the inside is Crack Ellen, Mark McDonough. Round the outer is Vale of Glory and Owen Kelly and bursting through in between horses at the top weight. Will you walk with me and John Shinnick? And they lead on the turn in. It's Will you walk with me, the leader up the hill from Joshua Chamberlain. Moon over Clune from an unpromising position is finishing best of all. This looked very unlikely in the early stages. Moon over Clune has raced through the field to continue a good results week for James and Matthew Smith. The second goes to the judge. Five, Moon over Clune, the winner. It's Will You Walk With Me, the leader up the hill from Joshua Chamberlain. Moon over Clune from an unpromising position is finishing best of all. This looked very unlikely in the early stages. Moon over Clune has raced through the field to continue a good results week for James and Matthew Smith. The second goes to the judge. Five, Moon over Clune, the winner. It's Keen Kyle and Hawkworthy Flower. It's been these two from the outset. A mistake by R. Jervis and fourth. Hawkworthy Flower into the straight from Keen Kyle. Susie Miller is there on the inside as they hit the hill in the final furlong. Hawkworthy Flower from Keen Kyle. The gap is open right up for Susie Miller. Beach Road Winnie on the outside. Susie Miller, the top weight, is grinding it out from Beach Road Winnie and Hawkworthy Flower going close home. It is Susie Miller from Beach Road Winnie. In third place, Hawkworthy Flower. Hawkworthy Flower from Keen Kyle. The gap is open right up for Susie Miller. Beach Road Winnie on the outside. Susie Miller, the top weight, is grinding it out from Beach Road Winnie and Hawkworthy Flower going close home. It is Susie Miller from Beach Road Winnie. In third place, Hawkworthy Flower. They arrive at the second last. Balcotto joins Monoxide, less said the better on the inner. In between the final two fences, and it's Balcotto on the stand side. From Monoxide in the center, and almost lost, slithering on landing, less said the better. Mark McDonough did well to stay on board, but it's Balcotto kicking clear up the hill from Monoxide, with in third, less said the better, running on as the grey tick along, but it is Balcotto. Contending well with the extra £10 for winning last time. Completes the hat-trick for Shane Fitzgerald and Declan Quilly. Second, Monoxide, tick along third. Less said the better, faded to fourth. But it's Balcotto kicking clear up the hill from Monoxide. With in third, less said the better, running on as the grey tick along. But it is Balcotto contending well with the extra £10 for winning last time. Completes the hat-trick for Shane Fitzgerald and Declan Quilly. Second, Monoxide, tick along third, less said the better, faded to fourth. Couple of lengths off them in third is Priory Park over the second last. And heading for the final fence, it's Sum Dove from Spagnum. Throwing down a challenge on the outside. Priory Park is in with a chance over the last, and it's Spagnum the leader. Taking over from the front running Sum Dove, Priory Park next on the inside and climbing the hill to the final 200 yards at Spagnum and Dylan Maxwell, moving well clear of Priory Park and Sum Dove. It's a winner here for Shane Broderick and his Charles Spagnum, clear cut winner under Dylan Maxwell. Back for the second Sum Dove, Priory Park turn. Priory Park next on the inside and climbing the hill to the final 200 yards at Spagnum and Dylan Maxwell. Moving well clear of Priory Park and some dove. It's a winner here for Shane Broderick and his Charles Spagnum. Clear-cut winner 
under Dylan Maxwell. Back for the second, some Dove Crowley Park turn. It's in a descent, the leader from Likeable Chance, who is about to lose the second to Art Hill. In between the final two fences, it's in a descent, the top way, chased by Art Hill. In third is Likeable Chance, the final fence, in a descent, not so far in front of Art Hill, who's made up an amount of ground over the last two to three furlongs, but in a descent is keeping it up, climbing the hill from Art Hill on the left. It's stage two on opposite sides of the track, in a descent from Art Hill, well clear of a girl called Chloe, but in a descent is doing enough, takes the fences straight away for Caden Callan and Jonathan Fogarty, Art Hill second in third place, some some way off to McGill called Chloe but Edda Desmond is keeping it up, climbing the hill from Art Hill on the left. It's stage two on opposite sides of the track. Edda Desmond from Art Hill, well clear of a girl called Chloe, but Edda Desmond is doing enough. Takes the fences straight away for Caden Callan and Jonathan Fogarty, Art Hill second in third place, some, some way off to McGill called Chloe. but it's Abby's champ in front and opens up a willing advantage turning into the straight and has readily left the others without a sniff and the bumper up the hill towards the final 100 yards. It's Abby's champ and Patrick Mullins steering home the long odds on favorite to win in ready style. From in second place is New Sheriff, the third, but it's Abby's champ in front and opens up a willing advantage turning into the straight and has readily left the others without a sniff and the bumper up the hill towards the final hundred yards. It's Abby's champ and Patrick Mullins steering home the long odds on favourite to win in ready style. From in second place is New Sheriff, the third.